Have you ever wondered how to figure out where to put the damn capo to play the thing that you're trying to learn? Hey, I'm Kai from Flamenco Explained, and that's what we're gonna look at in this video. Less of an issue these days when everyone learns everything from YouTube, but back in the day when we only had records, and if you're trying to train your ears, or if you happen to have a recording that someone gives you, or for whatever reason, you wanna be able to figure out where the capo goes to play the thing that you're listening to. So this is a basic, really important skill that you have to have if you're going to learn flamenco. And we're gonna look at how it's really easy and then how it's just not so easy because this is flamenco and everything's a little more complicated than you want it to be. So we're gonna start by playing a little game, right? And for right now, we're just looking at Phrygian stuff, right? Which means solea, solea por bulería, seguiría, tangos, you know, basically not alegrías colombianas, guajiras. Uh, nothing that's in a major key. And the main question that we're going to ask ourselves is what do we hear when it resolves? Because that's what we're listening for. When you start playing solea, for example, you learn a lot of stuff that ends like this. Right? So that, which really is just this. That relationship is central to everything we're doing. Now, there's more to it because, of course, when you hear 10, 11, 12 in a solea, or maybe you hear one, you know, or this kind of thing, right? All of that is going to give you clues. But the really important thing to understand is really this relationship. So. So we're going to play a little game right now. So the game is basically, where do I put my capo? When I play this thing, you're going to listen because you're not going to actually see my left hand or know what I'm doing. So what I want you guys to listen for is what I'm going to call the resolution, right? What key, what place on the neck do we hear this? Where do we hear that? Is it way up here? Is it down here somewhere? And how do we do that? The way we figure it out is we really want to hear that last note. So if the thing we hear is this, we want to hear bum, right? Now, I don't care if you can sing well or not. You'll hear me say this a lot, right? We need to be able to sing a little bit as a tool or at least hum or hear it inside our head. So all I want to hear is Right? And I don't know where to put my finger when I'm first doing this. So really you're going, you're listening to me do but somewhere else, right? And you're going bum, right? Some part of your body is feeling the, And then you're going to do bum. Oh, there it is, right? Or maybe you start down here bum, and you find it, right? So that's all we're really trying to do. So in the case of the solea, what you're going to hear is me resolving and it's gonna sound like, drum roll. So what we heard here was this resolution. Right at the very end of everything we heard Now, if we watch me play this without the, the censorship, you will see that my capo is on the third fret and I am basically resolving to here. So all I'm doing is everything I know how to do for solea with the capo on the third fret, and instead of hearing 10, 11, 12, I'm hearing. Right, so how did I get there? I really listened for. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the buleria, and what I want you guys to do is, when I stop playing, pause the video and find that place to which it resolved. In other words, just sort of like, if you're having a little trouble with this, what, you know, the bum, what, what's the, what's that note that makes you feel completely resolved? Like what's the note or the chord that you would end on? Cause that's what we're looking for to figure out where the capo goes in this case.
So hopefully what you're hearing in your chest right now is ba um right? That uh, that's the note to which we're resolving, right? That's the key that we're in. And so then you gotta go, okay, is it Ah, there it is. But this is a buleria. So you have to use a little bit of what you know, right? We know that a buleria more often than not is played por medio. So rather than being here, right, it's probably gonna be root somewhere on the fifth string. Same note is here, which is why I had my capo on the third fret. I just said, oh, of course, we know that a buleria is played por medio and a solia is played por arriba, right, in the E for jinky. So this is the kind of logic we're gonna use. So now let's try a tangos, which is generally played por medio, and see where it is. So same game. We're gonna listen, we're gonna figure out what that resolution is, and then that's gonna tell us where to put the capo. When I now play tangos, this might be a trick question. Now, we're going to find what's that note, right? And the note is bum, that resolution, bum, bum, ba -dum. That's what we're looking for, right? So we're going to go to the fifth string because we usually play por medio. And wait a minute. But um, the note we're looking for is actually not on the fifth string. It can't be on the fifth string. It's the fourth fret. So there's an esoteric option, which is that it's here. But again, we're gonna use common sense and use what we know. More likely what's happening is that I'm playing tangos por arriba. Right, because I can play anything in any key. So, remember I said this might be a trick question. It was a trick question. I had the capo on the fourth fret and I was playing a different kind of, well, I was actually just playing tangos, right? But I was using a different set of voicings. I was using the solea chords to play tangos. The compas was tangos, which makes it tangos, even though I'm using the chords that we think of as the solea chords, right? We can do that in flamenco and this is where it gets a little confusing in a minute. So let's take a look again so that you can see what I was doing and where the capo was. So we're going to use our ears, right, and sort of how notes feel in our body to find the root that we're resolving to, right? In this case, we had bottom, right? Which is here. So I put the capo on the fourth fret and I played, you know, these solea chords, por arriba, with the capo at the fourth fret and I got that sound. The tricky thing is that there's other ways to play some of this stuff. So what we're about to hear is me playing the introduction to four different sevillanas in four different keys so you might want to pause after each one and don't worry about putting the capo, just try to figure out what are those keys and you know, what are the notes and then we'll talk about where to put the capo.
So that one was probably a little confusing, right? If you got them right, right? If you can remember what you were feeling, the first one was, right? So this key here. The second one was, so this key here. The next one was, right? Which would be this. And then the one after that was this one. But I didn't switch capos, right? So what did I do? Let's put the capo on the first fret and talk about that for just a sec. The reason I was able to play four different keys with the capo in the same place for my sevillanas is that I was using other sets of grips than just por arriba and por medio. And that's one of the things that the deeper you get into flamenco, the more you're gonna have to learn about, the more you're gonna wanna learn about, right? So the first thing we did was this, right? Por arriba. The next set of keys was por medio, right? A fringing. And then we went to something called the taranta key. Right, which is very similar to this key, but up a whole step, right? And then the last key, right, was here. Unless you've really been playing flamenco for a little bit, chances are you don't know about these two keys, right? And there's a bunch of other ones. And the reason I'm pointing this out here, even though I'm not gonna explain all of it to you, is so that you understand that there will be times where you hear something resolve and you're like, oh, that resolves to there. And then you put the capo there and nothing makes sense, right? And the reason that will happen sometimes, unfortunately, uh, is that we have other sets of voicings. So the first ones you're gonna learn are por arriba, then you're gonna learn por medio. Then, depending on where you go, you'll probably learn the taranta key, which is F sharp Phrygian, right? The granaina key, which is B Phrygian. And then there's a couple other ones that are less common, but still common-ish, like the minera key, right? The rondeña tuning, which is a completely different way of tuning the guitar, and then we're in this C sharp kind of place. So there's other confusing things. This is another, right, sort of D sharp or E flat, depending on who you ask. So there are other common keys that we play in and you have to watch out for those. So the reason I'm saying that is just so that you don't think you're crazy if you run into one of these keys on a record and you can't find it. But what I would do is listen to stuff and really listen for the things that are familiar. So if you're listening to something and you're like, I know that this is a solea, and you keep hearing, you know, this kind of thing, you know, or any variation of that kind of thing, then you pretty much know because these are the sounds that we play when we're in these voicings, right? So that's like a normal solea, we'll just call it that. Um, people will probably get mad that I call that normal, but that's the traditional key. Right? So just, since we're talking about this, this key, por arriba, is traditionally the key for solea, for fandango de huelva, for malagueña, uh, and for a few others, but those are the most important ones that are really common here. Por medio is the traditional key for bulerías, for tangos, for solea por bulería, for seguirías, 
for fandangos naturales, well, it's one of the keys that you can play fandangos in, and for some other stuff, but those are the most important ones. If you're listening to older or more traditional flamenco and you hear a tangos, chances are it's in this key, although for tangos, that's the one that you will sometimes hear in this key for older traditional stuff. But for the most part, Solia is going to be in this key, Boliria is going to be in this key. And if you get used to hearing the resolutions, you'll have a much easier time figuring out where to put the damn capo.